Diplodoculus! Hey guys, do you guys like dinosaurs? Because I sure know that I do. I've been studying dinosaurs since I was in kindergarten. And for comparison, today I am in 7th grade and I am 13 years old. So that would have been about 8 years ago. Today we are going to go to Dinosaur Ridge in Colorado. Dinosaur Ridge is an exploration site where many paleontologists have dug up dinosaurs, including dinosaur footprints as well. Today we'll be going to see all there is to see there, and make sure to like and subscribe to never miss a video, and let's get right into it. Okay guys, so, over here we have some hadrosaur footprints, and they know they're hadrosaur footprints because they have large, flat toes, and they don't have any claws, and over here are actually baby hadrosaur footprints, and the baby hadrosaurs actually follow behind the mother to stay protected. And below the baby hadrosaurs, these are ornithomimus tracks. Ornithomimus was the speediest of the dinosaurs, and it was a small carnivore, and so and they hunted smaller prey, and they actually look very similar to modern day birds, and they, if you look closely at the footprints. Maybe dinosaurs have more in common with present day birds than they do with reptiles. Look at the pubic bone, turned backward, just like a bird. Look at the vertebrae, full of air sacs and hollows, just like a bird. And over here we, some, we have some acrocanthosaur tracks. And the acrocanthosaur is actually a species of tyrannosaur. And we can tell they're acrocanthosaur tracks because they have long pointed claws with, and long toes. And, they're, and the, because of their large tracks, they know that they're not smaller carnivores, but larger carnivores. And they actually were here to hunt the hydrosaurs. So this was actually the acrocanthosaur's hunting ground of this area. And here we have an, a juvenile allosaur footprint. And again, you can see the distinct claw marks. And if you look at it compared to my hand, it was about the size of my hand. And again, this is a juvenile allosaur, so it is smaller than a larger allosaur. And a larger one will probably be about maybe two or three times as large as this one. So now we move on to the dinosaur bones at Dinosaur Ridge. So it doesn't specify which dinosaurs they are, but there are between a potosaur, allosaur, and stegosaurus. Now the very cool thing about Dinosaur Ridge is that it's actually the site where they found the original stegosaurus fossil. And they also don't specify which types of bones each bone is, but I'm pretty sure that these are ribs cages. And this, I don't know specifically what this is, but the cool thing is, is that they're, the fossils are very smooth compared to the rough rock. And now here is actually a vertebrae of a dinosaur. And the vertebrae is essentially the spinal cord of, of any animal that has, that has a vertebrae. And here I'm pretty sure this is a leg or an arm bone. But again, I'm not certain because it doesn't explain. But based on what, how it looks, I'm pretty sure it's, it's an arm or a leg bone from one of these creatures. And now finally here is just a whole lot more of a whole bunch of bones. And that was Dinosaur Ridge. So, you may have remember me saying in the last video that I would make a video about Cactovic, Alaska. But the thing is, we went there a long time ago, so we're still trying to dig up the files and find out where all the videos are. So we will have that ready soon. But, in the meantime, I will record videos about my personal fossil collection that I've collected over many years. So make sure to like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and turn on the notifications to never miss a video. Goodbye!